Good evening, everybody, and happy Halloween. That's right, it's October 31st, and we're approaching the end of the growing season. I plan on pulling up some of the carrots this evening for dinner. And wow, look at this. Anthocyanin in the, the uh, leaves, even. Uh, I'll be pulling up mainly the uh, smaller roots for our food this evening and make some dinner. Other than that, I am pleased to say that my uh, seven top uh, turnip greens are finally approaching time to harvest. And of course, here's the spinach. Still tiny, but I'm hoping uh, over winter I get at least some spinach greens. Probably plant a lot more in spring. In the meantime, here's the other... I, I picked some arugula last night and had some with the salad. Based on my experience, it seems that arugula has much milder flavor when picked in cold weather. And it's much more pungent if you grow it during uh, late spring and early summer. Here, of course, is the, the wild radishes. I've been continuing to harvest the uh, flowers and the leaves. Uh, I've had good experience with the radish greens. Just remember, next time you grow uh, radishes, you can eat the greens. Don't throw them out. if you or at least compost greens. And of course here's the uh, field mustard. I've been continuing to eat the field mustard and check on it for a small uh, cabbage butterfly by uh, caterpillars. And here's one right here. Ugh. Come on. I haven't been out as much. The uh, weather's been uh, terrible. Rainy and uh, windy. And this is actually one of the few nice days that we've had in a while here in Ohio. Other than that, I have been continuing to eat the mustard and cook it, cooking it. And that should be it for this side of the yard here and the garden. We move on to the other beds. Washing some carrots, and wow, these are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Some of these look like they're about a foot long. These are mostly, uh, I think, atomic purple and pusacita carrots. They are a deep purple color. They should uh, bleed like uh, red beets when I cut them. They even have anthocyanins in their leaves that go all the way up. Now we go on to the other bed. Earlier today, I potted some uh, passionflower seeds right here. I soaked them for about 24 hours or about overnight and I rubbed off part of the seed coat before soaking them and now they're going to sit here for uh, over winter until they sprout. And of course, here are the other blackberry and raspberry seeds in the pot of mint I showed you last week. In the meantime, also here is the romaine lettuce. Uh, hasn't grown much under the cold weather, but it should also be much sweeter tasting when picked in cold weather. The neighbor has been um, picking some uh, hot peppers. These are not mine, but enjoying them along with the neighbors. And if you're curious about that uh, black raspberry plant that you saw earlier in the year for that uh, video, here it is. It is going dormant and pretty soon I'm going to have to repot it. Unfortunately repairs on my house are uh, taking longer than expected so I might have to wait until the following next year for fall to uh, plant it or maybe plant it over winter in the house. Okay, and over here, of course, uh, thankfully I was able to get some of uh, the, uh, the Chinese cabbage plants, to, or Chinese kale plants, to uh, survive while uh, pulling up some of the, the tomatoes. I probably would have asked beforehand before planting them here. They got in the way and it made it difficult to uh, pull up tomato plants without uprooting the uh, plants here. And of course, here's the bed with the cover crop. The uh, vetch is starting to sprawl out, but it's also uh, not growing much under cold weather. I should expect it to uh, rock it up the following uh, spring when they start uh, spreading all over the place. And let me show you the remaining beds. I am surprised my Huel Zontle still hasn't started shattering yet, even with the mild frost in parts of the neighborhood this last night. I am keeping an eye on the plants, and hopefully I can begin shattering at the beginning of next month. 
and of course neither of the amaranth is shattered either. Still holding on tight. The head's getting heavier and the plant's starting to tip over. I wonder if I get like four ounces of seeds from this plant. That might actually be close to the uh, predicted amount for this variety. It's a uh, Chinese amaranth. And further on in this area, I actually harvested some of the lettuce uh, last night and had it in a salad. With cold weather, the lettuce is much milder tasting than when picked in the uh, late spring and early summer. Here, it doesn't have as much of a latex bitter flavor. And the uh, black mustard, of course, I've been continuing to enjoy. It's still surviving in the cold weather. Haven't had many uh, hard frost left yet, so still hasn't uh, died. And like, look here, another uh, caterpillar. And another. Yep, they're always going to be there. Hopefully don't kill the plant before I get a chance to eat it. And I'll show you the last bit with the cover crop. Ow. When you look here, more squirrel damage. This is getting pretty bad. Uh, and here, and here. They're really digging at it. Uh, well, hopefully there's enough uh, plants left in the ground. This bed's probably gonna look like a, a mess by the end of the, the winter. Uh, I sure hope the plants stay in the ground long enough. I don't think squirrels dig up vigorously. There must be grubs in there or something. Uh, sorry about the wind. So I have no idea. I don't think squirrels dig that vigorously. Normally they bury their nuts. They don't dig up everything. So if anybody has an idea what that could be, it's vigorously rooting up all the plants and uh, spreading uh, dirt everywhere, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, uh, have a good evening, and thanks for watching, and goodbye.